And this is how my Easter Sunday is getting started. Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. I'm Alexi Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. It's Easter Sunday, April 17th, about 1.30 p.m. I just picked up crawfish for the family. Now I'm headed to my mother's house. We're having um, Easter Sunday dinner over there. Let's right, everyone is here. Food is here. We got some ham, Ooh. some jerk chicken, some oh, crab legs, the crawfish, and potatoes. And Junior's bringing the shrimp. Such a nice day. Yep. Time to eat. <laughs> Happy yes, Monday, good people. I have been working. It's 2.17 now. And I'm actually here looking at this property for myself, but it's just too far. Like, I can't even imagine living on this side of town. But this is cute. I wish they were building it on the north side. Who wants to live on the south side? Nobody. <laughs> oh, and they got a little backyard. Okay, that's just enough you have to ask me in this bathroom oh. is giving. Go back in there and twirl. <laughs> this thing is huge. You can fit about four people in that thing. Yeah, this closet is just a little tight though. Like, what was the point of this? Well, I don't. What's the point of this? You may want to put like a little, like a little baby room. Yesterday. Lobster patties, straight from Jamaica. Devon House, Jamaica. Devon House. Thanks, Auntie. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> All right, boy, I'm back home. And um, let's see if this is warm. So, if y'all watched my vlog, sorry, I have that vent on because anytime I turn on this air fryer, my smoke alarm goes off. I guess because there's not good ventilation over here. So I just, I've learned to just always turn on the air vent. Um, anywho, if you all recall, when I went to Jamaica last August, um, I showed you all the wonderful lobster patty from Devon House um, and my mother and her siblings went to Jamaica about two three weeks ago I'm gonna just loop that just a little bit longer it don't need to not it don't need that much I'm gonna do like three minutes of just the reheat um, but when they went, the patty is so popular. And I guess they only, you know, lobster be, I don't know. <laughs> but when they went, there was no lobster patties and my soul was hurt. So, and to share y'all who y'all saw in the previous mm -hmm. clip, her friend that lives in Jamaica um, came to the United States, to Miami, um, for a party. And Auntie Sherry went to the party in Miami and she was able to get lobster patties. So she froze them, flew them to Miami, and then Aunt Sherio brought them back here to Houston for me. I would have loved all six for myself, but I got two. Everybody else got one. I got two, so I'm happy. So I'm about to devour that one right now, and then I'm going to attempt to savor the second one <laughs> as long as I can. My other cousin is supposed to be coming this summer. So I'm gonna send her some money and be like, give me as many lobster patties as you can before you come. I need to actually go ahead and text her that now. I'm gonna send her about a hundred dollars. They're about a thousand plus Jamaican dollars, I think. 
um, JMD to USD. Let's see what the exchange rate is. So if you do a thousand Jamaican dollars, maybe they're a little, eh. I think if I remember correctly, they were like eight, ten dollars for one patty. So that's expensive, right? Just for one little one little patty, you know, a beef patty is like two dollars. Three dollars maybe. You get up to the lobster and they want all your money. Anyways, so I'm probably gonna send about a hundred dollars <laughs> and be like, bring me back as many lobster patties as I can get, thank you. Anyways, y'all, so I'm about to eat this. Um and then you all can help me make my closing baskets. I have two clients potentially closing this week. Well, one for sure. Um, the other one oh, has just been, you know, to be determined <laughs> for a while now. So, but if y'all want to know more about that, head over to the real estate blogs. Y'all ready? All right, let's eat. Yep, this patty. It's getting devoured. It's so good. Like, it's just so good. Mmm. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Good people. Happy Tuesday. Ugh, it's 6 26 in the morning. I'm headed to the gym, but it was it was kind of a struggle this morning. Normally I do not set my alarm to wake up because I usually wake up pretty early just naturally um but I guess I was a little tired because I didn't sleep well the night before so I was really getting my rest but I set my alarm for 5 36 to make sure that I get up and go to the gym for 6 30 because I have things to do early this morning I have a client to meet at 9 a.m so I was like well I need to make sure that, of course, you know, I'm up enough time to get my workout in, get home, shower, get my life together, and be where I need to be at 9. Y'all know how I am with that sometimes, so. But, we're going to get there. Anyways, the alarm went off. I turned it off and went back to sleep. <laughs> and then, which I, I don't even know why I did that, because once I open my eyes, I'm up. At least for a good period of time, it's really hard for me to go back to sleep. So I was like, oh, I'll just go to the gym later. You know, I don't really have a lot to do today. I just have that one early thing to do. But then I was like, nah, Lexi, you know how you are. So find the motivation to get up and get active. So we're up. And we're headed to Hot Works. And then, yeah, I didn't even do those baskets last night, like I said. I got sidetracked, so we'll definitely do those today. Actually, one of the baskets, one of um, my friends at my brokerage is making um, a doormat for me, so I can't wait to see how that turns out. You know, usually I order those from Etsy, but she makes them, so, and she's, of course, charging a, a, a nice amount less <laughs> than what I usually buy them on Etsy for, so gonna get that today from her because closing is tomorrow and yeah um just carry on with the day y'all let's go all right car oh finish the workout y'all um 742 i really got to get going but i just glanced down look and here are my clothes from yesterday <laughs> like what are some of the worst habits y'all have at home because clearly for me I just come home, take my clothes off, and leave them where they at. <laughs> Which is like, whatever. I live by myself so I can strip naked, naked, whenever I want to. It'd be just fine. But literally, as soon as I get home, I'm always like, uh, clothes off. I want to be comfortable. That's why normally when I'm on this vlog talking to y'all when I'm at home, I'm in that row because I just, I just want to relax. But I really just had to chuckle at myself like, girl, you could at least put them in the hamper. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let's um, shower, carry on with the day. Outfit of the day, <laughs> super cash, no thought to it. Just have on one of my real estate shirts, jeans, little mini platform sneaker here, tote bag. Let's go. Y'all, look at me leaving the house 
on time early at that with nine minutes to spare. Yay! Proud. So since I had time, I decided to make a pit stop at 7-Eleven to get me some cappuccino. But look at this. If y'all been here, y'all know that I am a sucker for churros. So there's a churro chino. Let's see what that tastes like. Okay, y'all. Now, the time of day for me to prepare dinner. I should have marinated this meat yesterday. I just bought some steak tips. I think I'm going to eat that with a little bit of cauliflower rice and some broccolini. Um, Y'all know. Every now and then I make healthier choices, which that's all I can do. I don't know why I didn't marinate this before, but it's just gonna have to get what it get for now because it's 441 right now. Um, so yeah, whatever it tastes like is what it ends up tasting like. <laughs> What do y'all marinate your steak with? Well, really, this isn't even a marinade. This is just a season. I mean, it's just getting seasoned. I'm gonna put it on the stove top, brown it a little bit, then I'm gonna stick it in the air fryer and let it cook that way so the inside can be real tender. Steak on the stove top. I got caught up editing. Um, See why I love this? See that? It says keeping warm. So it's probably been in here about a long time. 20 minutes. And it was just a beeping and beeping and I was just editing and editing an Instagram reel. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. That's it right there. That's it, baby. That's it. Let's taste a little bit of that meat. Yes, nice and tender on the inside like I wanted it to be. Yummy. Uh, good right morning. Back. Happy Wednesday. I am headed to the treadmill. Wasn't really feeling how it works this morning. I just didn't want to move. But now it's about 8.25. I have a Zoom meeting at 10 a.m. And like five minutes ago, I was like, let me at least go do something. So thankfully, we have a nice little fitness center here on the property and um let me go get it in real quick and then get our day started My shorts are what I call my nine to five appropriate what shorts. Y'all remember? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about y'all. But remember back in school, you had to put your hands down. And if your shorts or your skirt were shorter than the tip of your fingers, you had to change clothes and they would send you home. That's what they did, at least for me. And a girl like me that got the long limbs, it was always unfair. So I hardly ever got to wear shorts and things so these are like right they 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 right on there if i was to cut my little finger tip if i cut my fingernails down it would be all right anyways 
My sole time is broken. This thing breaks so often and I just have not remembered to update it, but let's bring that and um, let's go. Let's get, I need to get up at that stop. I need to get out the house because I'm in the burning All right, my closing went good. And I came to get some food real quick before I go to this floral arrangement class. And that velvet taco by the Galleria. I'm gonna garble these down and then roll on the body. Chick-fil-A for dinner. My roses look really pretty. Debating on if I'm gonna give them to mommy, but I think I'm gonna keep them for myself. I feel really tired. That's probably because I was drinking wine at, I don't know, ranch? No, I do. I have Olive Garden Ranch. Um, I was drinking wine while we were making the flowers, so it's probably making me feel a little tired, but I'm so proud of how my bouquet came out. It looks so good. Professional. Time to eat dinner, and honestly, I'll probably see y'all just tomorrow. I get so many compliments on this headband, but I hardly wear it because it likes to has all these little prongs and it gets stuck on my head in my hair all right dinner time. good morning good people it's like 6 a.m computer and i'm watching the mad singer it's still one of my like favorite shows to just turn on and watch while i'm doing things oh i probably really could go back to sleep because i'm still kind of tired but I'm up now. I don't plan to really have that long of a day, so hopefully I can come home and relax a little earlier in the day, but I do have to go drop Mahogany off at 8 o'clock. It's time for her to go get a little uh, checkup tune-up. Um, hopefully, God willing, they give me a loaner car so I don't have to be stuck there because then I have some other things to do, so... Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. Uh, now I'm annoyed, y'all. I woke up early to get myself to this car dealership on time to drop off mahogany. And my woman's intuition was telling me, Alexia, call them and make sure that they're going to give you a loaner vehicle like you requested with your appointment, right? Because there's most times they do give it to me. There's been one time that they didn't. But I had things to do this morning, so I needed to make sure. I call. He's all chipper. The answer to your question is going to be no. What? <laughs> he said it was so much energy. The answer to your question is going to be no. I said, huh. So, suppose something about they're, they're no longer giving out loaner vehicles for service issues, blah, 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 whatever. So, luckily, I didn't make it. Um, luckily, I just really kind of left the house. I had to stop and get gas. Gas station wasn't working. I had to go to another gas station, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't waste too much time driving out there. So I just ended up rescheduling the service for later today where I have time to sit there and twiddle my thumbs while I wait for them. So I guess I'm just going to, I was going to go see my mother, but I don't feel like driving out there. Um, so I, it looks like I'm just going to go home or maybe stop and get me some breakfast although it's not feeding hours I'm up and I'm hungry um, but yeah just go back home it's right 757 right now so I can just and and it's starting to rain so I do need to go back home and get like a jacket or something um, but 757 um, yeah that'll give me enough time to go home get my jacket and then I'll probably need to be leaving soon again to get to um, the 10 o'clock appointment. All right, y'all, the work day is over. I stopped and picked up some movies. I think y'all saw that in my last vlog. 
And now I'm here at Joe Meyer's Mazda. Let me go get mahogany's oil change, tires rotated, and whatever else they find wrong with her, I guess. Happy Saturday, good people. Picked up one and two yesterday. Um, I think I mentioned the parents went out of town this week again. They're always going somewhere. Actually, this time they went to different places. They weren't, they're not traveling together, but they're gone at the same time. It's like anytime my mama goes somewhere, my stepdaddy decides he gotta go somewhere too. It's, it's actually really cute. <laughs> Anyways, I actually have a pretty busy Saturday. Um, I found out that a friend of the family passed away and her home going is actually today. So I'm gonna go to that and then I have to work a little bit later and then I have a housewarming party tonight. So yeah, we're just gonna flow with the day, see how it goes. They asked us to wear shades of nude to the home going. So I'm trying to find like the best outfit that's gonna fit all of the activities that I have to do today. You know, I don't wanna go to the home going too stuffy because I'm not coming back home to change my clothes and it's such a nice day outside and new is a heart. All my new stuff is kind of revealing. So I had these little pants that are part of a set, but I don't want to wear the top that goes with it. So I might throw on a jacket for the home going to go over this little sleeveless thing and then just take this, take the jacket off later. Um, anywho, come on, Jen. I'm hungry, y'all. I did make a smoothie this morning. But it's now like 12 something. Please, come on. Um, so, definitely gonna go stop and get my eyebrows done. First things first. Then I actually need to go to Alex's house and drop off a birthday gift for Rai Rai. Her daughter turned two today. I bought her cute little outfit from Zara. Let me show it to y'all. Um, it's not very practical for a two year old, but I just thought it was too cute to pass up. And yeah. Then I'll head to the other things that I was telling y'all about. So let's go. So this is the outfit that I got for Lil Rai Rai. How cute is this, y'all? With the little matching shorts. I just, I couldn't say no. Like, I just, I couldn't say no. So Alex is going to be like, girl, who wearing all white? But, you know, just take a picture of her and call it a day. <laughs> all right, y'all. The day has been moving. It's 4.57. I went to Alex's house when he gave Rai Rai her little birthday outfit. Alex loved it. <laughs> I'm telling my best friend things just like me, y'all. She's like, oh, this will be perfect for some pictures. <laughs> um, and then I went to the home going, which I had to leave early to get here. The thing said it started at 2.30, but of course, things don't always start on time. So literally, I left right after the pastor said, um, prayed and they set us down you know let us eat I had to take my food to go but I'm missing the whole actual ceremony it was supposed to be from 2 30 to 8 um but I had to come show this lovely little house for a um uh, a lease client that is moving from Lake Charles so we did a virtual showing I wish I would have known that the home going was going to be set up that way then I definitely would have came here first and stayed at the home going a lot longer because I got to see some friends that I hadn't seen in a long time. I was in Girl Scouts um, and two of them were there. Um, so I'm a little sad. But now I'm going to head to the housewarming that I have to go to or that I was invited to that I'm going to. Um, and yeah, I let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, you worked hard for these. And you deserve it. Absolutely. Cheers. 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 Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Cheers. 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 All right. Good morning. Right, keep your palms down. Good girl. I really should just take y'all home right now. Should I go drop y'all off in your backyard? I think I'm gonna. Cause grandpa's home. Aspen. Aspen. Come. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's time for y'all to go back. I don't see our backyard until Lexi don't have to walk yet. All right. We're in the swimming pool for Kai's party. There's a birthday boy. It's time to eat now, though, y'all.